Hello everybody. Well, today's metal detecting adventure will be a reaction to the last episode's action. Last episode was all about the girls going out metal detecting. Pay tribute to them and a fine job they did. Thanks to the girls who sent me all the footage and photos. It was fantastic. But like I say, this episode is a reaction because we're going all manly on you. Oh yes, we're going to be metal detecting, finding treasure, drinking beer. Arrgh. Hey Nexter, you alright? Well folks, today, as it's uh, the season's turning to autumn, I thought I'd get me some decent uh, knee pads. So hopefully these will do, a, do the trick, because the ground's going to get wet and cold. Got to protect those knees. And like I said, today's hunt is all about being manly and tough and rocking out. Okay, well, first find. Uh, we've had a couple of uh, Nemesis 1 coins, but uh, that's the first half tidy find. An unfired rifle round. Very old. I think there's been a campsite here, so it's worth checking. And we have found a pound coin. So that's not too bad. And the first oldish find today. There she is. It's a penny, I think. Yeah, it's a George V penny from 1916. That's not too bad. Heavy metal emergency services needed. Look at this little guy, look. He is stuck, absolutely wedged in between this fence. There's absolutely no one around, of course, when you need someone. So what I'm thinking is, I'm going to take that bit of fence out and hopefully get him out. Otherwise he's, uh, he ain't going to last long there, is he? Oh, there we are, we got it. Pulled that uh, middle section out and dragged him out by the scruff of the neck. And there he is, he's all right actually. Uh, the, the rest of the flock are at the top there, but he's obviously a bit uh, stiff and knackered. But we got him out. Oh well, another fire put out. I'll try and repair this now. So there you go, uh, one rescue. Told you it was all going to be manly stuff today. Look, even got, oh, can you see that? Uh, even got cut for the cause, look. Can I do some metal detecting now, please? Right, well after our uh, animal saving heroics, uh, more manly stuff, it's a 1958 shilling. Signal in it, so I'm quite hopeful. Oh, look, there it is. Looks like a coin. It's a coin. Ooh, it's a cool coin. What on earth is that? Alright, better give me a minute. I'll uh, see if I can uh, shed some light on this coin. It looks decent though, whatever it is. Well, it's quite a rocking find, this this, uh, this coin. It's a colonial penny uh, from 1907, Edward VII. Uh, I flipped it over. 
and it's from Jamaica. It's a one penny. That's a better picture, I think. From Jamaica. 1907. Rockin' fine, that. And followed up that lovely colonial coin with a Victorian halfpenny. Again, in superb condition. Almost as good as new, that. This one's from... 1888. Not bad at all, right? It's really good condition. And right under the same tree, we found another end of the seventh uh, penny. Again, absolutely. Top condition. Maybe the tree sort of protects the soil. And that's as good as new, that one. 1905, that one. Not too bad. Well, getting tired. It's been a long day. I haven't really found a lot today. Until now. Until now. Because uh, just about to go, and I thought, now stick with it another five minutes or so. Do a couple more holes, and it's paid off because I've found something really cool. It's a dog tag by the look of it. And more than likely World War II. Um, it says Robert Edmund Maloney. Something to check out. Uh, there you go. I don't know if that's picking up on the picture, I don't know. Well, that's, that's something to research, isn't it? I would say that's army. World War II, sort army era. Um, just to wait and see. Looking fine. Now, oh, this time. Well, if you look uh, in there somewhere, oh, there it is. The ring. Now, is that a man's ring? Or is it just a copper ring? I found so many rings like this. They always seem to be sort of <laughs> nothing, really. Um, yeah. Copper ring, I would think. I wonder how old that is. Here's our first tiny little find and minute little button. Well boys and girls, second second hole and a great coin. Look at that little beauty. Uh, this is probably the best condition coin of this age that I've found, I would think. Now I think that'll that'll be identifiable easily once it's cleaned up and uh, given the old oil bath. Uh, I'm guessing now. It's a George II coin because the head is facing to the left. So I'm guessing it's George II. Um, but we'll wait and see. Rocking find. Awesome coin. Well, this time we've got a little pewter button. Flat faced. Definitely made of pewter. Shanks broke off, probably, I would guess, 1800s, early 1800s. Nice. Well, we've got another coin. Literally put the shovel in the ground, look. Just started to move it, and then I saw the coin. It's right on the surface. There it is. Don't know what it is yet. It's an old one, George III, I would guess. Let's get it out and check it out. 
but that's what we've got so far. It's not revealing much at the moment. It's going to take an oil bath, I think, to uh, get any more from that one. Still, it is a nice coin to find. Hopefully, we'll be able to ID it. Rockin'! It's a strange little find. It's like a copper copper barrel with some sort of fibre inside. Some sort of hair. And I'm guessing that's some sort of uh, shell. Uh, shotgun shell or something. I don't know. It's weird. Well, I've got quite a nice little find here, folks. Look at that. Not bad, some, I don't know, maybe silver plating, I don't know. Uh, but what would that be? It's got some sort of hinge this side. Maybe a cigarette box, a lid of a cigarette box or something like that, I'm guessing. It's old and it's rather cool. No writing on it. Yeah, not bad. Pleased with that. Rocking find. Well, the weather's got better. The sun's come out and I'm really loving it. Just found this little button, tiny little button, as you can see. Literally less than an inch under the surface. 1800s, I would say, in excellent condition. Well, I found for the girls a pink rock. How unusual is that? And I don't know what that is, some sort of relic. Uh, I thought it was a button at first, but it's, I don't think it is. It's off, uh, some sort of machinery or something. Not bad though, it's clearly old. And this time I've got a lovely little relic. Look at that. It's a little, uh, I, I reckon that's Georgian, you know. I think that's going back to the 1700s. Some kind of uh, cupboard door. Um, that is really nice, in great condition. Look at that. All right, there's a, a little closer off a cupboard or something, or a chest. Yeah. Rocking find. Well, I've got another uh, pewter button. Very nice too, 1800s. Not a bad find at all. I like the old buttons, so I've got to be honest. Nothing terribly exciting, but something different. It's a relic. No, I haven't got a clue what it does. And another button. Yes, another one. Decent, decent, I like it. Found a few today. I've uh, got this. Some sort of brass fitting. Don't know what it is. A cog. Plain and simple. A brass cog. Not sure what it would have been off. First coin for a while. Quite a nice little one for small. There it is. Not sure of all the idea. It's quite, quite in a bad way, but uh, you never know. This time I've got a strange little fitting, tiny, probably Georgian. Don't know what it is though. Yeah. Got an awesome coin. No way of ID in this one though. Look at the shape of it. Not even round. Uh, I would say that's going to be some 16, 17, 18. Nice. Well, we've got another coin, and this one is identifiable. Uh, just a minute. It's a George III. You can clearly see his head. 
Uh, can't give you a date though, it is not too warm for that, but it's going to be late 1700s. Good coin. George III. Spot the coin on the surface. There it is. Look at that, no digging required. Just picked it up and looked down, and there it was. Very crusty. Mm, well, clean it up, see what it is. Um, cool button, very old, probably pewter. Let's clean that up a bit more, but yeah, that's quite cool. 16, 1700s, maybe? Not bad. Well, I think this will be the last find tonight. Something decorative. Uh, I'm not sure what it is though. Probably Georgian. Quite interesting. Cool. Right, well I hope you've enjoyed this ultra manly macho edition of heavy metal detecting. Um, I'm going to go home and research that dog tag. Hopefully that'll be something really cool. Catch you later.